So decimals, um, we're going to be representing and talking about place value. So decimals, like whole numbers, are based in the number 10. The digits and the position of the digit determine the value of the decimal. The decimal point separates the whole number over here from the part of the number that is less than 1 over here. And we say decimals by um, the decimal point being and. So we say this properly, not 25.45. We say 25 and 45 hundredths. And we always go with the last place value and list the name in that place value. So decimal models can be used to represent decimals. This is used to represent one. It's one whole. And this is tenths, ten of them. And this is also tenths. You see there's ten in one whole. So this is like one tenth, two tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, which is one whole. And then this is hundredths here. Each one of these boxes is worth 100. So 10 is worth 1 tenth, like the 1 tenth over here, or 20 is worth 20 hundredths, or 2 tenths, which is the 2 tenths over here. And you can um, shade these to represent different numbers. So if you wanted to represent uh, 36 hundredths, you would shade 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 36. And that would represent 36 hundredths. If you wanted to show 5 tenths, which would be half, we know that from our fractions decimals. So 5 tenths One, two, three, four, five, five tenths would be five tenths. And if we said five tenths over here, it'd be fifty hundredths. And isn't that the same? Five tenths and fifty hundredths. This extra zero doesn't change the value of the, if, if I shaded fifty of these, it doesn't change the value, five tenths or fifty hundredths. It's the same amount shaded. So modeling, you model each decimal using place value chart, money, and the decimal model. So um, with this, we've got $1. So on the place value, we would have $1, and then we would add up the cents, and that's 30, 40, 41 cents. So that's 41 hundredths. So 1 on the model would be 100. And then 41 cents would be 40 of these, 40 and 1. And so the total, uh, it's not 34. That's not 34. <laughs> it's fine. Go ahead and stop it. So this would be 141. So in many on the place value chart and in models. Okay, so in this example, we have $1 and we're gonna count up our change. So the one would go here and then 30, 30, 40, 50, 54, 54 hundredths. So on the model, one whole would be this whole thing. 100 of these, like 100 pennies makes a dollar. And then 54, I do 50, which is half, and then another 1, 2, 3, 4, 54. And so this equals 1, oops, 1, 54. Okay, so 8 cents. How would we show 8 cents? Well, with money, we would show it 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 8 cents on the place value would be 0 tenths, because we don't have anything worth 10, and 8. And on the model, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tenths. So standard 
form is the usual way to write a number. So you just are given a number and you write it. Word form is whenever you write the number in words. It's also the way you say it. So um, this is 230 and 1900. So this says 230 and 1900. This is 4 and 56 tenths, tenths hundreds, thousands, thousands. 4 and 56 thousands. So word form, the way you say it, and the way you write it. So go ahead and write these numbers out as to what they would look like. So this is what the numbers look like. We have seven tenths, eight hundredths, five and thirty-two hundredths, twenty-two thousandths, and four and five hundred forty-two thousandths. Now, write these in word form, how you would say them. Say them and write them the way that you would say them. So here it is, nine tenths. 3 and 22 hundredths, 16 and 8 hundredths, 825 thousandths, and 7 and 7 thousandths. So which word phrase best represents this? 25 hundredths, 25 hundredths, or 25 tenths? 